Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with some European War 6, 1914, continuing our journey through the Eastern Front. We are ready for mission number six, Battle of the Masurian Lakes. On September 7th, 1914, the Russian attack on Eastern Prussia was fairly successful, but they made a fatal mistake. The Russians separated their massive forces and moved quickly, causing problems to their coordination. Ha! <laughs> How Russian. The Russian troops have changed formations on the march. We can divide and crush them now. 16 rounds to take out the strategic points. Three of them to be exact. Okay, guys. Last episode, I was telling you that I had been upgrading Mackinson. We are about to see if the upgrades helped out. I didn't get a chance to use him last episode. This time around, we're going to throw him down. We're going to use him. So like I said, I've upgraded his title and everything. Not not max or anything. Maybe maybe like three-fourths of the way or something. Um, and I've upgraded three of his five perks to level three. The one mountain fighting is just, that ain't even worth it. I don't think. How often Max Mackens is going to be fighting in the mountains on cavalry? I say not very often. Okay. Um, hit hard, bro. That's... Is that better? That was better, I think. We can't just rely on one hit, though. We're going to have to see, you know... We're going to take uh, many data points. Many samples. To make sure. Yeah, what's up, Hindenburg? I thought you were going to divide, conquer... This guy's... You're gone, bro. You may wipe out the northern flank, but you ain't... You ain't doing nothing to this flank. Mackinson has switched sides. Noise. Give me that 200 coin. Probably going to, uh, um, probably gonna need at least one more artillery and uh, probably spam cavalry units. I'm debating whether taking out that fort. I guess I could. That did a decent amount of damage. I was... Because it gives you at least a little bit of room you could bypass it through the north. Oh, Hindenburg moved up. I was not expecting that. Well, I, I mean, I said Hindenburg... Uh, I mean Hindenburg. I said last episode, Stonewall Jackson, best cavalry general, changed my mind. Nobody said anything. We must be in agreement. Um, I also stated, infantry generals blow, changed my mind. Uh, nobody said anything. So we must all kind of be thinking about the same. I mean, of course, there's a time and a place for each general. But uh, in the, like, overall big picture, infantry generals blow.
Yeah, Mackinson's good now. He just needed a little bit of upgrades. I just wanted the Cossacks. Didn't even allow me access to the Cossack units. Damn sure not gonna put my artillery close to the fire bats. Okay, these last two missions have been really easy. There was definitely harder ones out of I'd even say there was harder ones in the in the US campaign. In like five and six of the third chapter. I thought Tannenberg was gonna be a blast and it was just lame. Yep, here we got it. What is uh, six and a half minutes? And remember, bros, what I've done, you can do. I didn't. I didn't buy any extra generals. I used what medals I earned. Well, there was another easy one, guys. Um, I guess we'll see what's up next. Battle of Lutz. Well, all right. Maybe that'll be a better one. Bros, if you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace, Bruinati.